get a lot of people writing to us with bright ideas, and we welcome all of them. But I always ask, if it's so smart, why isn't General Motors doing it? Well, that's a bad example these days, given the state of GM. Next, though, we have a bright idea, a flyer for the forest industry. But it's 20 years old. Why haven't they done it? Well, if you think GM's got problems, look at our forest companies. They could do a lot worse than listen to Bill Race, an old-timer in Victoria who heard all the high-blown eco-talk at the Earth Summit in Brazil this summer and dusted off his plan for replanting our forest. Susan Ormiston meets the inventor. Dig a hole, jam in a seedling, and hope it grows. In this age of automation, we're still replanting trees the old-fashioned way. How about innovation? Take a tiny Douglas fir, freeze the roots solid, hire a chopper, then launch thousands of them like miniature missiles. Take a seedling like this and drop it out of an aircraft so it hits the ground at 200 miles an hour. My hunch is it's not going to work. <laughs> but crazier things have happened. Certainly they work. They've got to work. I don't make anything that doesn't work. 86-year-old <laughs> Bill Race has all the chutzpah of an inventor. As a self-taught engineer, he once worked for Chrysler, but he's most proud of his inventions, from a wheel aligner to a potato baker. Twenty years ago, he developed the tree planting innovation, and he's been trying to flog it ever since, now from a retirement home in Victoria. So this is a prototype you made? Yes. You made that in the kitchen here? Yes, dear. <laughs> a true inventor. If you like. Now, will the bottom of that penetrate the soil from when you drop it from the air? Oh, yes. Yes. When it's frozen, it becomes heavy and it's a very firm and has not no chance to, to fly apart or anything and until it thaws. Once it thaws, then it's water laden and it's ready to grow. Now, these are stabilizers, correct? That's stabilizers or fins. So maybe you could demonstrate that for us? Oh, keep your head down. <laughs> I won't hit you. I won't hit you there. I'm not going to put it out very far. You've got to watch that stand up. Uh, I'm going to try this off in, in a sloppy manner. It can be sideways like this. So let's see how fast it level, levels off and traces. That's going about 60 mile an hour. So those fins stabilize the seedling so it goes on the right path. That's right. It's got to plant straight down. Take me into an inventor's mind. How does this happen? You just say, well, I can solve this problem? Mm, just about that. I knew they were chopping holes in the ground and planting trees and not having too much success. And I thought, well, there's got to be a better way than that. But planting trees is political. In British Columbia alone, 12,000 people get work for a couple of months. Students depend on it. Governments like to boast about it. 20 years ago, Bill's idea wasn't welcome. I got terrible reactions from nearly everyone. I got thrown out of a, the head uh, forester for British Columbia. He says, I've got 3,000 men planting trees, and he says, you're just rocking the boat. Don't, think, don't bring that idea around here. After you'd been insulted and shown the door <laughs> on your invention, aren't you discouraged? Yeah, almost crying, and I cry easy. I'm a little bit emotional. Anyway, that's long ago. But I don't hold you, any spite with any of them. How come you just haven't said, oh, I give up, this is I did. enough? I did until this last year. Once they started crying about how they need, need the trees so bad and uh, to improve the oxygen, I thought, well, okay, let's get back into it again. For every 20 dumb ideas, one of them's gonna work. Glenn Dunsworth is the only guy in 20 years who's taken Bill's invention half seriously. He's a research scientist for Macmillan Bloedel, a big forestry company. Every year, he tests a few new ideas at this nursery outside Nanaimo. We have a lot of uh, problems with linear thinkers, linear thinking. Uh, we can think of 15 different ways why something won't work, but we don't spend a lot of time thinking about how we could get something to work. And that's, that's kind of the approach we're taking with this idea of bills. It's, you know, it seems on the surface a bit of a, a, a crazy idea, but it might just work, and if it does, it could save us a lot of money. Wouldn't cost you much to test it, and it might save you a lot of money? Yes. Cheap delivery systems is sort of the name of the game right now in reforestation. Cheaper is better. Macmillan Bladell spends about a dollar for every new tree. 
and it replaces six million a year. If Bill's idea worked, even on 10% of the clear cut, the company could save a quarter of a million dollars a year. So what's crazy about Bill's idea? Well, what's crazy about it is I've spent a lot of time looking at handling of trees. Just, uh, for example, the physical act of dropping trees from a box. And we've measured gases that come off of those trees that are a result of stress. Well, they're stressed just getting dropped. The trees are stressed. Yeah, and if you're stressed getting dropped in a box, you're freaked if you're coming into the ground at night 200 miles an hour. But curiosity wins over skepticism. Dunsworth agrees to take part in our approximated unscientific trial. So we're going to try to plant those from the air? We'll try to do it into this field. actually made it in the ground. So is that a good plant? It's gone in the ground and compacted itself. So that's not a great plant, but it's gone in. Can it grow like that? Yeah, I think it could grow like that. Are you surprised? Well, yeah, I didn't think the darn thing would even land nose down. And it has. In fact, three of them have. Oh my here. gosh, right in the line there. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Well, that's a little better. Yeah. Well, I tell you... That's such a crazy idea. <laughs> so how many have we got? That's uh, four out of five that we dropped. Not bad odds. 80% works anywhere I work. That's great. And this is actually good information because I can take this to our planning meeting and have some fairly solid, well, four out of five anyway, solid evidence that... It's got a chance. It's got a, a better than even chance that it might be worth trying. Bill would be pleased. Bill, Bill would be very pleased, yes. The old timer is delighted, mostly because someone finally tested his invention. A little recognition would suit him fine. What's in this for you, Bill? I guess prestige. Maybe a few dollars, who knows? Possible. If uh, Brian Maroney puts out $150 million and uh, Mike Harcourt puts out $50 million for tree planting, I think I should maybe get splattered. I'm not a hockey player. They get good money. But I'd like to get a little. It wouldn't matter. you just like to see this thing work. I do. I'm 86 years old, and I'm going to live a little longer just to make sure it does. <laughs>